How do you figure out the best siding profile for your project? We help you make the right connection on this episode of Timber Tips. A profile can refer to many different types of products on a job site, from trim and moldings to flooring and decking. In this video, we're talking about wood siding and soffit profiles. The first thing to consider when choosing a siding or soffit profile is whether it's going to be used for the exterior, interior, or ceiling. Exterior profiles need to account for the elements like rain and snow. You need to allow airflow behind the siding so it can dry out. This is typically called a rain screen system, and a rain screen profile is an excellent option for exterior siding. A rain screen profile typically comes with a clip system that can be used for easy installation. Another good option is a tongue and groove profile like Pattern 122 or Fine Line. The tongue and groove connection adds stability to the siding, but you still need to use furring strips to allow airflow behind the siding. When installing any of these profiles as an exterior siding, be sure to install the boards with the groove facing down so that water doesn't get trapped in the groove and rot the siding. If your siding is for the interior, the shiplap profile is the most popular. The term shiplap was popularized by the design industry to represent a certain look, but it's also a profile type. Also known as lap and gap, shiplap boards overlap each other and create a faux gap between boards. Shiplap profiles require face nailing, so if you want to hide the fasteners, you can use a profile called text gap. Text gap is a combination of shiplap and tongue and groove. You get the look of shiplap with a tongue and groove system that hides the fastener behind the groove. We use TexCap a lot for interior and exterior use. In fact, it's on 1010 West 10th in Austin, Texas. If you're installing wood on a ceiling or a soffit, you want to use a tongue and groove profile. And it helps if that profile is end matched. End matched boards have a tongue and groove on the end of the board so that each board is connected end to end and on the sides. The benefit to end matching is that you don't need to line up the joints with a stud, so it makes install time much quicker. There are a lot of companies out there that offer this option for soffits and interior walls. Synergy Wood Products, Real Soffit by Woodtone, and Inner 4 are a few companies we've used that all have end match boards. The other thing to consider when choosing the perfect profile is the look you want to achieve. Do you want a slight gap between boards or a groove? Are you planning on painting or staining the wood, or do you want a pre-finished product? There are even reclaimed wood siding options out there like ReWood. There are a lot of options out there, but once you know where the siding is going, it's easier to narrow down the profile that will give you the look you want. Whether it's a tongue and groove, a rain screen, or a shiplap profile, they all have options that will give you the front-facing look that you need. To help you figure out the profile that you need, Overseas Hardwoods Company designed this milling profile poster. What's cool about this profile poster is that all of the profiles are to scale, so you know what the profile will look like before you make a purchase. OHC actually gives this poster away in a free digital download or physical format. We'll put links in the description below. Next week we're going to be talking about peel and stick wood. Is it worth it? Be sure to hit subscribe and click on the notification bell and we'll see you next week on Timber Tips.